come with us. <coughs> God is the fountain whence ten thousand blessings flow to him my life, my health and friends and every good I owe. The comforts he affords are neither Just a moment, let me get back to my pitch box here. My apologies. God, this one's a little, it's a little high for me. So we're going to go down a semitone there. <clears throat> a mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal.
be reading from Psalm 106. Psalm 106, the first 12 verses. 106, the first 12 verses. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. For His mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all His praise? Blessed are those who keep justice, and he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. O oh, visit me with your salvation, that I may see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it dried up. So he led them through the depths, as through the wilderness. He saved them from the hand of him who hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words. They sang his praise. <clears throat> Number 14. Oh. Uh -huh. 
number 161. Hallelujah, what a Savior. Like I say, man of sorrows, what a name.
praise him, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time on and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high. Who looks far down to the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the garbage heap to seat them with noble men, with noble men of his people. He has the infertile woman live in the house as a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord.
start off. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God.
see fit to prolong that earth each time I sing it. It just seems like that that's important, <laughs> at least to me, to prolong that more than actually twice what it should be. Number 54. <clears throat> Number 54. After I sing this song, John will come up and, and sing one song and announce his invitation song, and then I'll, I'll have a brief uh, exhortation. Praise him, praise him. <clears throat> praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Praise the Lord. 
would, to turn back to the Psalms, let's look at Psalm 105 for just a moment. <clears throat> this is, is booking by two of our readings for this evening. In Psalm 105, we have what begins to be kind of the psalmist's general outline of the Old Testament and his promises to Abraham. He begins in verse 1 by saying, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. <coughs> O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of jo Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. When they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He broke the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters, he was laid in iron until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. He spake, and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also and their fig trees and brake the trees of their coasts. He spake, and the locusts came and caterpillars and that without number did eat up all the herbs in their land and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy promise and Abraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness and gave them the lands of the heathen. And they inherited the labor of the people that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. And he goes on in, in the reading that, that Alvy had just a few moments ago to continue to talk about what God had done for his people of old, but he's not just done for his people of old, he's done for us as well. Yes. So when we can come together and sing praises to God, we sing praises and should sing praises to God just as heartily as these people of the old law did. Mm -hmm. And much more so because now we have Christ our Savior. Mm -hmm. There are many songs in our songbook that are based on these three songs, 104, 105, and 106. And I'm reminded of, some of our, uh, the song that we sing, He is in the Midst, number 22, just back a few pages from our invitation song this evening. And it says, Draw from the springs of salvation, give thanks to his great and holy name. 
Make known his deeds among the people. Make known his exalted way. Call on his name with thanksgiving. Yes, joyously praise his name in song. Through love he authored our salvation. Through love he did give his son. Praise the Lord and shout for joy, for the Holy One is in our midst. Praise the Lord and shout for joy, for he is in our midst. Amen. So what a wonderful thing to know that as we, and I believe Philip mentioned it in some of his lessons this week, that the Lord is here with us. He's with us not only as we worship him, but he's with us during our daily lives and what we do and what we say how we act he sees all of that and so praise the Lord and shout for joy for he is in our midst the song has been selected and John's prepared to lead it in just a moment we're going to stand and sing if there are any in this audience this evening that have any issues that they need to straighten out with God that is of a public nature he is in our midst 